Layer functionality in AutoCAD 2014 offers some simple but much appreciated enhancements. For example, here I've got the Layer Manager open, and I'm just going to create a bunch of new layers very quickly, just taking the default names. In AutoCAD 2014, layer names now honor the natural ordered sort. So, for example, if you have layer 1 and uh, layer 10, they're no longer displayed in that order where it would go from layer 1 to layer 10 to layer 2. Now they're displayed in the order that you would expect them. Also, there are some new tools available on the right-click menu. If you select some layers, I'll go ahead and choose several of these layers, right-click, and you see here that I now have an option to merge selected layers. So if I choose that, merge selected layers 2, it opens up a dialog box and I can merge all of those layers that I selected onto some specified layer. So all the objects from those layers then, in this case, will get put onto layer 10 and everything from those layers will be purged and those other layers removed from the drawing. So those are some quick, useful enhancements to the layer management tools. Other enhancements to AutoCAD 2014 focus on XREFs. In this drawing, I have one XREF attached, so you can see that here, 102 South Isle section. And what we're going to do is look at some of the information that comes along with that XREF. First, I'll open up the Layer Manager. And you can see here, if I scroll up to where the XREF files are, or XREF layers, you can see that I've got all these layers coming in from this XREF. Now, if I look at the Properties window, let's go ahead and open that, and display the properties for this drawing, notice that all those layers that come from that XREF are not displayed in the Properties window. That's because they're with an XREF and you can't really modify them. That's an enhancement in AutoCAD 2014. It kind of cleans up your layer list so that it only displays layers in the Properties window for which you can actually modify their properties. Now, if we look at the ribbon, however, look at the layer list on the ribbon, you will see that all those XREF layers are still displayed. And that makes sense, because on the ribbon, we might want to control visibility of XREF layers. Even though we can't change the properties, we can still control their visibility. I'm going to go ahead and select this XREF and open up that drawing so that we can see what kind of information it has. If we look at the properties, and the line types, we'll see that it does have some line types included with it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and close this XREF file and back to the, the parent drawing here that is referencing that XREF file. And if we look at the line types here, now it's kind of funny because we're looking for something that isn't there, but you'll notice if you were to open this file in AutoCAD 2013 or earlier, not only would you have the line types for the current drawing, but you would also have XREF line types in here, which again, you really can't do anything with. In AutoCAD 2014, those XREF line types are not displayed. They're not displayed in the ribbon panel or in the properties window. If we open up properties here and look at the line type list, you'll see that it's a fairly short list. It doesn't list any of the ones from that XREF. There are some other XREF improvements in AutoCAD 2014, but for that I'm going to go ahead and open up another drawing that has uh, several XREFs attached. So let me open up, I believe it's sheet number 11, and we'll take a look at the XREF manager. Here you can see it's got multiple XREFs attached, and in AutoCAD 2014 there are several tools um, related to modifying properties of multiple XREFs. Uh, a couple of little things you may not notice. Uh, if you select an XREF in the XREF Manager, you can now double click on the type to change it between attach and overlay. And if you select multiple XREFs, you can right click and you'll see XREF type as an option in the right click menu so that you can change the attachment type of multiple XREFs at the same time. You can also right-click and change the path of multiple XREFs. So you can make them all absolute, 
relative, or you can remove the path completely. So just some additional enhancements to make it easier to work with XREFs in AutoCAD 2014. And change the path of multiple XREFs. So you can make them all absolute, relative, or you can remove the path completely. So just some additional enhancements to make it easier to work with XREFs in AutoCAD 2014.